Okay, let's have a look at how to add in some chords with our strumming by ear. Now, uh, I'm assuming that you can already hold some basic chords. We're going to use D and G in this particular song. Right? Um, so, if you don't know those chords already, you'll need to spend some time practicing them. And you'll need to be able to go back and forth fairly smoothly between the two without a huge gap. Okay, so assuming that that's okay, uh, what we're going to do is focus on the landmark of each chord. We're going to land on the chord at a certain time. At the moment we won't add in too much strumming, we'll build up to that. And then on the next chord we'll focus on exactly when you land on that chord. So that's going to be the important thing. When does that chord fall? Okay, so we'll have a look at the uh, song Heroes by David Bowie. Okay, so it starts with the D there, that's the first chord, next chord is G. So you can see the next chord for this. Okay, so once you know exactly where each chord's going to fall, the idea is going to be to get ready, uh, to get used to getting into that next chord. Now, the most difficult thing about strumming is going to be being able to change chords smoothly while you keep going with your right hand as well. And because you can't change instantly from one chord to the next, you're going to need to go smoothly like that. Uh, what that means is that while you're changing chords, if you're still strumming, you'll be hitting some open strings in between. So I might be going D, and then as I change to the G, I might have some open strings in between, then I land on the G. That's normal, that's just part of guitar playing, that's how it sounds, right? Um, it's often called a transition strum in between chords. So normally for, you know, a strum or two, uh, sometimes more, sometimes less. There'll be some open strings or some dead strings or some things that aren't quite a normal chord being played just before the next chord that you land on. So that's the process that we're going to get used to. We're going to get used to landing on a next chord with a couple of open string transition strums before it. Right? So uh, let's say we're going to do uh, D, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and G. See how I did that and a G as I land on, on that G on the uh, the one with the next beat there? I'll show you that again. Ready and D, two, three, four, one, two, ready and G. Okay, so that's going to be a fairly difficult skill to learn, but it's essential to getting that strumming by ear and getting that smooth chord transition. So let's try that together a few times. We'll go D and a G, right? So that'll be D, two, three, four, one, two, ready, and G. Now, so I'm, do I'm doing down, up on the open strings, and on G, that's just a consequence of, of being in time with that pulse, right? D, two, three, four, one, two, ready, and G. We'll go back to the D, two, ready, and G. Back to the G, two, ready, and G. Again, one, two, ready, and G. Four, one, two, ready, and G. Three, four, one, two, ready, and G. Three, four, one, two, ready, and G. Okay, let's try that with the song. Here we go. D. Okay, um, now that is difficult, so if you're having trouble with it, you're not alone, uh, it's just going to take a fair bit of practice to coordinate both your hands. It really feels like you're needing a fair bit of independence between the two hands, uh, like you know, rubbing your belly and patting your head or something like that, so make sure that you give yourself plenty of time to practice that idea of open strings and a chord, and a chord, and a chord. Uh, and always
always be looking forward to when, exactly when that next chord is going to land. And it's almost like you see that D coming at you and D, and you see a G coming at you and a G. It's almost like you're getting ready to jump onto it. So, once you've got that, and uh, give yourself plenty of time to get that, but once you've got that, the process is going to be simply add in the rest of that strumming leading up to that transition. So, uh, for example, if I just keep on strumming in time with that pulse and then adding in ups whenever I feel uh, across all across that D chord, then I've just got to make sure I can see where that G is coming up and then when it's time and G is what I'm going to look for. Okay. D, ready and G. I keep strumming, fill that pulse, ready and D. I'm not doing any particular plan. Baby in D. See the G coming up in the future. Baby in the future. See the D coming up towards me. Baby in the future. See the G coming up soon. Baby in the future. Okay, again, that can take a fair bit of practice, but remember the process was. First of all, you need to see exactly where each chord is going to fall. That needs to be completely clear as a landmark in your mind. You need to be able to go D. Here exactly where it is. On two, ready, and G. Then you need to add in your little transition and D. Four, one, two, ready, and G. Then we start adding in the rest of the strums. Ready, and D. Ready, and G. Start with the chord landmark, know exactly where it's going to fall, add any transitions, and then add in the rest of the strum leading up to that transition. Okay, good luck, and any questions uh, or problems, let me know.